Hi, my name is Rami, and I'll be walking you through many of the OT2 functions that you can use to automate your workflow. OpenTron's electronic pipettes can move almost anywhere inside of the OT2. A typical use case for manipulating the aspiration location would be aspirating from the side of the well opposite magnetically engaged beads and extractions. Or maybe dispense at the top of the well if you want to use the same tip for distributing reagents to already populated wells to avoid cross-contamination. All aspirations and dispenses default at one millimeter above the bottom center of the well, tube, or reservoir. Here we see the OT2 aspirate from the side of the well in this 96 well plate. Afterwards, it will dispense at the top of the well. Now we'll show you how to mix with the OT2. Mixing on the OT2 is achieved by pipe heading up and down repeatedly. Let's take a look at the OT2 performing three mix repetitions. Now let's discuss flow rates. The OT2 can manipulate pipette flow rates to accommodate your workflow. If there are concerns over implementing air bubbles into your solution, or if you're dealing with a heavily viscous liquid, try slowing down the flow rate, or maybe try increasing the flow rate for a vigorous mix. This is the pause function on the OT2. The pause function does exactly what it sounds like stops the protocol from proceeding until the user clicks Resume on the OpenTrans app. Click Pause when replenishing reagents, switching out sample tubes, vortexing plates, or spinning down tubes between steps. Back to liquid handling. Now we can use the Touch Tip function, which can be called after aspirating or dispensing. Touch Tip is used to move the pipette's currently attached tip to four opposite edges of a well. This knocks off any droplets that might be hanging from the tip. I'm going to select resume on the app to take us out of this pause so we can see the touch tip function in action. The blowout function can be implemented after dispensing liquid. To blow out is to push an extra amount of air through the pipette's tip to make sure that any remaining droplets are expelled. Now let's change the blowout flow rate and blow out liquid into the trash on slot 12. The air gap function can be called after aspirating. When dealing with certain liquids, you may need to aspirate air after aspirating the liquid to prevent it from dripping out of the pipette's tip. We will use the delay function to pause for five seconds after air gapping. Delays are similar to pauses, except there is no resume button that has to be selected by the user. Delays are especially useful for incubation periods or after aspirating viscous liquid to achieve full volume. We can even use air gap within the same tip. Now let's return this tip for use later on in the protocol. Return tips to where they were picked up from or drop them off in an empty tip box entirely dedicated to tip reuse. Now we'll demonstrate the consolidate and distribute functions. Volumes going to the same destination well are combined within the same tip, so multiple aspirates can be combined to a single dispense, which we call a consolidation function. For the distribute function, volumes from the same source well are combined within the same tip so that one aspiration can provide multiple dispenses. Now we'll see a consolidate function call followed by a distribute. Before we distribute, let's use that tip we parked from before. Thanks for checking out this video to learn about the OT2's liquid handling features. We hope you learned something new about the OT2 and that this video will help us make the OT2 your best lab partner for lab science automation.